Hi everyone, Andre from Chrome FX Films here. And to complement my 2D game development tutorial series that I'm working on right now, I thought I'd show you how you can make some cool pixel art for your 2D games. So let's make something simple. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make something uh, that you would find in a game like Minecraft. So a golden apple for example. So there's a lot of things you have to prepare beforehand to make sure that your pixel art will look correct and will function properly. You have to start a new project up here, File, New, and we're going to name this G-Apple. Let's do that for Golden Apple. Now, this width is not correct. We want to make sure that this is 20 by 20 or something very similar. You want pixel art to be very small because the higher it is, the higher resolution your pixel art has to be and the more time it will take to, to, um, to create. Having a high resolution for your pixel art is okay, but like I said, it takes more time and it's more detail, which you can have, but it can get more complicated. So we want to make sure the background contents are transparent so it does not have a background, and we're going to press OK. Now we're going to zoom in, hold Alt, and scroll up. Now I'm on Windows, so it should be uh, the Command key if you're on a Mac. Now the grid that you're going to be working on has to be the correct ratio, so we're going to fix that by going up here to Edit, Preferences, and Guide Grid and Slices. And right here, we have grid line every one pixels. Make sure this is set to pixels, and the subdivision is one. So this is now one to one. And you can't see it here because this is a transparent background, but when I paint, you'll see it working. And last but not least, uh, the pencil tool. So right here, if you press this icon, you will change your uh, brush tool to a pencil, and you don't want it to be a brush. So let me show you how if you do a brush, it looks like this. Now, the problem with this is that it has these soft edges, and pixel art doesn't usually contain soft edges unless it's for a purpose. So we want to make sure that we go to Pencil, so we can get rid of the soft edges. And we want to make sure the hardness is 100, and the size is 1. So there aren't soft edges, and the size is 1 pixel, so we can draw with the 1 pixel. And to make sure that when we're drawing, Photoshop doesn't try to soften out our edges to make this look like a high resolution, we're going to change that by up here, pressing Edit, and Preferences, and General. And right here, Image Interpolation. We want to make sure this is set to Nearest Neighbor. Preserve Hard Edges. That's the keyword. And press OK. All right, now we can get to the drawing part. So let's draw the outline of the apple first. And let me get going here. Oh, that doesn't look good. Let's see if I can do this correctly. All right, that doesn't look bad. Let's do a little stem here. Excellent. Now we want to color this in. So golden apple is yellow. So let's get some goldish yellow color here, right there. And let's paint in. All right. Now we want to create some shading effects to make this apple look 3D and shiny. So to do that, we'll create a slightly darker color here and we'll paint the edges here with it. Very nice. And now the glare from the light, it's gonna be white. So we'll do that here. Let's see, maybe this. All right, that looks good. So let's rename this layer to G Apple. And now we have all this blank space, but we don't want all this, this extra space. So up here, we're gonna click image and trim. Transparent pixels, good, and press okay. And then the program will crop it. So that's it guys. As you can see, very simple process. It's a lot of fun. The more you do pixel art, the easier it gets and the faster you can work on it. And feel free to practice making some more complicated models. But until then, you now have a golden apple to use in your game. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.